Pakistan, for me, a leap into the darkness, which has transformed into a luminous ascent. Up there, in the Kalash Valleys, where, along with Saba, only 1,800 other women of this population remain to preserve a traditional heritage as unique as it is breathtaking. And then, a leap even higher, over 3,000 meters in one of the most remote places on earth, Karimabad, where 46 women crafted 400 meters of embroidery under the guidance of Karishma. And despite the thousands of difficulties she encountered, she persisted and became a national women's football champion. She now coaches girls and trains mothers. I climbed the giant rocks of the Hindu Kush to meet the Kerigar artisans between the valleys of Gilgit and Hunza, where 19 women coordinated by Sarwat have transformed needle and thread into women empowerment tools and their cultural heritage into activators and drivers of sustainable development here on the roofs of the world. Independence is a conquest of education. 17,000 kilometers traveled with legs, head, heart, and the true desire to meet hospitable people. I found an entire nation with open arms, arms as long as its rivers, as engaging as its mountains, and as strong as these women, determined to keep their communities and their traditions alive. Always ready to welcome me without preconceived opinions. Each of us could choose here to open our own borders, question our beliefs, and listen to a piece of history of this extraordinary story. Shukriya, Pakistan. <laughs> <laughs>